Welcome, Mad Dog and welcome everybody to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Welcome everybody. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Freddie. Welcome. I've got my scorecards in hand. I've got my golf clubs in the other hand, and we are at Thornberry Creek at Oneida, and we're just gonna put around a little bit today. Are we gonna play around? Put around. Put around? Yeah. We're pretty good at putting around, man. Now, we are we are gonna do a little bit of outdoor grilling. We're Mad Dog and Merrill. We are at Thornberry Creek at Oneida. We'll be right back with more Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling right after this, ladies and gentlemen. Four. All right, you ready to tee off, boys? All right, man, that's swinging music, man. Swinging music. Very swinging. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, The Big Green Egg, Cherry Delight, Merck's Cheese Spread, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sundrop Soda, Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage, All Things Jerky, The Oneida Nation and the new Oneida Market, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Uh, we're gonna have a great show here lined up for you today. Yes. Uh, we're gonna do a little golfing later on. Freddie, right. are you a golfer? Well, I'm kind of a duffer. A duffer. A duffer. Yes. Well, look at you. You didn't even bring a putter along. Well, no, 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 no. I wanted. I put Merrill just wanted a sand wedge. I did. I, uh, <laughs> I thought he's hungry all the time. I am hungry. I thought you're shooting for a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to, boys. Uh, I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, tee yeah. me up and I'll knock you off it. I'll there tell you. you that. That's all he uses those clubs for. Well, you know how it goes. Uh, Mad Dog and Merrill have a lot of great <laughs> friends. Mad Dog and Merrill have a lot of great friends. Oneida Nation. Oneida Nation is one of our best friends. We've known them for years. Yes, we do a we lot have. of events with them. Uh, you can go to exploreoneida.com. They got wonderful events throughout the year, good community events. They've got Apple Fest, they got the Farmer's Market, they got the Pow Wow, uh, they got wonderful tours that you can take. They have the Veterans Wall, they have the Walk of Legends. Have you seen the Walk of Legends, Freddie? That you know, only one time, but it was, it was very impressive. It's, it's 24 statues by Lambeau Field. <laughs> 24 statues east of Lambeau Field. It's called the Walk of Legends, Green Bay football history. Great, great, great time. And when you're taking that, you can head up to Thornberry Creek at Oneida and Ta -da. shoot some golf. Yeah. And they have all-in-one packages. All-in-one packages. I'm going to give you a, a, one more website here. Right. And it's Golf Thornberry, golfthornberry.com for all your great packages. Just down the road is the Radisson Hotel with a great casino, the Oneida Casino attached to it and you can have packages there and you can come golf to your little heart's content. Well, that's it's, a beautiful place out here, I'll tell you, unbelievable. Right behind us, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, right behind us is Wisconsin's number one nine-hole course, the Iroquois. Right. Oh, yeah. The Iroquois, the Wisconsin's number one nine-hole course, and the LPGA is played here for the next couple of years, so look it up online. You can help volunteer if you want to it. The other 18 holes is called the Legend Oneida Legends course. The Oneida Legends course is the 18-hole course. Okay. So it's 27 holes all total. Great place. Great, great place. It all sounds Boy. good, but I'm really getting hungry. Here. I am too. So, so when you golf, <laughs> Freddie, do you take a mulligan? <laughs> mulligan, mulligan stew. Mulligan, but do you take a mulligan? Like if you had You're only allowed dry, one. That's what I'm saying. All you get is one cup of mulligan chili. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about a drink, a mulligan. But no, mulligan chili. Now we're talking. Mulligan I like that, Danny. man. All right, behind us here. <laughs> okay. Be behind us here, uh, we've Merrill's got a skillet with some nice Beck's bacon in there. Uh, we went to the Oneida Market. Merrill and I went to the Oneida Market yesterday on 501 Packerland Avenue, and we picked up some wonderful, great meats that Oneida Nations raise, uh, and some by Beck's Meats. So that's some uh, Beck's bacon cooking there. I've got a stick of butter in this pan right over here, and, and Merrill's going to start our chili, mulligan chili off right you now. You got her, sir. Stir, like we mentioned, stir up some Beck's bacon. And as you know, the meat's going to be very lean that we're doing today. We're here. doing bison, yeah, by the way. That's right. So we're very doing light. a white corn bison, white corn bison chili, mulligan chili. Mulligan. <laughs> mulligan. Okay, now we've got the that. trilogy that we're going to put in here, all right? Or the Trinity. <laughs> or the Trinity. He's going to goof me up. He's going to say Trinity. Doggone, I've been saying Trinity. It's trilogy. Trilogy. 
All right, we got some celery. I oh, it's had, Trinity. I haven't had celery. Is it Trinity? Yes, it's the Trinity. Trio. They got me going Trinity. All right, <laughs> celery, onions, pepper. It is the Trinity. Going to mix this all up together. Put it in the skillet here with the bacon. Get that going a little bit. I'm add a little bit of cumin. Some little hot sauce. Well, get, I'm going to text the speed. Get the so, Trinity in there, buddy. All right, you got her, sir. Don't you get to the you seasons on that, right, right. Don't you worry about a thing. Okay, I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so white corn is a staple of the Oneida Nations for a couple hundred years now. White corn is a nice staple. It's what they had and they actually dried it during the harvest time. After the harvest they dried the white corn and we picked some up at the uh, Oneida market and it has a great protein content and then you can hydrate it throughout the whole winter time and, and uh, Oneida Nations back in the 1800s uh, they have the Oneida Nation, uh, Oneida Village, by the way. We've been there a few times, haven't we? we yes, have. they, got the, they got the 1800, 1800 style log homes that they had. They moved there, and they're also building a beautiful longhouse from the 1700s. So we have the white corn that I actually boiled a little bit, cooked a little bit to hydrate. We've got the red beans, which was a staple of the Oneidas. I've got some garlic and red peppers. I've got my stick of butter over there, and we're just going to kind of dump this in there, and Merle's going to stir this up for me, too. You got her, sir. So I'm going to stir it today. <laughs> so doing all we're kind of doing is getting the catalyst going and getting our little chili going. So now we have the white corn, we have the beans, we got the garlic and the hot peppers. We got the trinity over there cooking with the bacon, and that's a lovely thing. Now over in this kettle over here, in this kettle over here, I have a, 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 a gallon of tomato sauce. All right. Gallon of tomato sauce, that's heating away. And we're going to add our bison. Now, I cooked the bison earlier today, and bison's a very lean meat. And when you take a tour of Oneida Nations, they have the bison overlook. And you can enjoy that and see the bison down below. Uh, and they harvest those as they need them for the market and the market's use only. So we're going to add the, the uh, bison meat to that. And we're going to get a stirring on that just a little bit. And now, this is a plain old tomato sauce, so we do have to spice it up a little bit. So to spice that up a little bit, I went to the Oneida Nation, the Oneida Market. We picked up a couple of salsas. We like about that. what the heck? Why not, right? So uh, uh, they they got uh, they got a few of the great selections. Great gift shop, by the way. Uh, they got Hippie Wayne's uh, green tomato salsa here that was canned good by stuff. Hippie Wayne. Hippie Wayne's a good man. So we're gonna add a little salsa to there. And then Merrill's got a can of salsa over there. He's a magnet chip. I'm a magnet chip, man. Oh, the chef. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at those muscles. Go for it, man. Did you see that? Did you see how I popped that open? You were right on. Most of the time so we're kind of blending things together here. Now, we're going to spice that up a little bit. Uh, the Oneida Nation, the, 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 the Oneida Market has uh, some great spices. Uh, so I, I have here cayenne pepper, Freddie's favorite. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and chili powder. And chili powder is a great combination of spices, which includes cayenne pepper. So what I think I'm going to do is use a, a, a universal amount of the chili powder and I'll skip too much of the cayenne pepper. So oh, gonna, you, I don't know. I like to spice it up a little bit. Well, there's cumin in there too, but I think we should well, have a little I cumin. Oh, I can smell that seasoning, man. Sure, you I bet. know. Look at the back Whoa, of there. Oh, that's got to be fresh as could be. I mean, that's got to, uh, everything's organic in there, by the way. So I'm going to add a little bit of, of cumin extra inside of there. And we're going to yeah, get a, get a little on oregano our chili. in there, garlic. I can smell it. It's mm, wafting man, over all here. All spice, that's just amazing. Whoa. So uh -oh. the, the uh, Oneida raises and harvest bison. They've got beautiful black Angus, and they got grass-fed beef. And when you go to the Oneida Market on 501 Packerland Avenue, uh, you can pick up all those different meats and all kinds of great gifts and spices and teas and stuff like that. So we're gonna give a little stirring now with our big spoon. We're gonna get those spices just to rolling in there. How's your food coming over there, Mary? It's the coming along good. I, you know what? I just love the white corn How's there. I'll tell you the there. <laughs> Trinity, Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get a cooking over there. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab. Go for it, sir. So there, there's the Trinity with our bacon, and that's kind of like all seasoned up now. And we're gonna add that right inside of our chili. Get it, get, we're gonna get that grease and all because that ba bison is so lean that we want just a little bit of grease in there. So that's why we're using the Beck's bacon inside of there. So we've got that going. And now let me show you the, uh, these are the uh, red beans, mm. a stick of butter. There's about seven cloves of garlic and of course the white corn. And I got some jalapenos in there just to stew. 
You gotta have the jalapenos. Freddie's favorite again. What do, what do you call those again? Chapolinos. Chapolinos, okay. okay. You got it. So there's the mounded up mess. Ooh, all now right. Now we're gonna stir that up. And we're gonna get Here that go. going. Oh, and we're gonna, we're gonna let that simmer for a good 40 minutes while we're doing the rest of the show. And coming up, we really are gonna do golfing. I've got, right. I got golf balls and tees. Okay? Are you teasing us? I ain't teasing you. We got golf balls and tees coming up, so stay tuned. All right, if he says so, I believe him. Oh, that chili's gonna be good. Dun -dun. For recipes, accessories, sauces, spices, sunflower oil, and so much more, visit maddogandmerrill.com and go to the online store. Mad Dog and Merrill here. Try our to work. I love sun ripe tomatoes on my burger. Sunripe tomato, it's all in there. Man, I love sauerkraut on my sausages. <laughs> sauerkraut, it's in there. <laughs> uh, I love spicy mustard on everything. Spicy mustard, it's in there. It's so sad, I love onions. Onions, it's in there. DeWorks, no more mess. All in one condiment, and now DeWorks with sweet pickle relish. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. You've come a long ways, Joe. A two-time Olympian, a World Cup captain, and an NHL All-Star. How'd you get so good, Joe? Hard work and nutrition from Wisconsin Potatoes. Wisconsin Potatoes. Grandpa, please pass the potatoes. I got this. What? Healthy and delicious Wisconsin Potatoes. Join us each week on this station for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques. You can also view past episodes at maddogandmerrill.com. Glorious Malone's Gourmet Head Cheese and Country Pâtés are Southern deliciousness. Tender pork, blended spices, and bold flavors. Superbly handcrafted fresh, without fillers, jellies, or preservatives. Glorious Malone's quality flavors have been loved throughout the Midwest for over 60 years. Enjoy it sliced on crackers, or think outside the cracker. Try it on pizza, burgers, stuffed pork, and more. Ask your grocer for Malone's. Mmm, Southern deliciousness. It has been reported that Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices have been seen around the world. And now we want to know where in the world is Mad Dog and Merrill? Take a selfie holding a Mad Dog and Merrill's product in front of a sign or interesting landmark. Post the photo to Mad Dog and Merrill's Facebook page. And once a month, one lucky fan will win a grilling set of Mad Dog and Merrill's products. Go to Facebook.com slash Mad Dog and Merrill. Happy grilling! If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. <laughs> We were at Thornberry Creek at Oneida, and, and what a great building, what a great facility. Oh, Freddie man. and I walked in there, and they have, they have, uh, Freddie goes, they need more TVs. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They have 24 high definition TVs, a sports bar. Right. Around the whole gosh darn uh, 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 bar area. Well, the I bar area has 20 tappers of beers. I noticed that, a very good selection. Yeah, too. very good selection yeah. of beers. Uh, they got a facility for a ballroom if you want to host an event here or a corporate meeting. You got to get hold of the good friends here at Thor golfthornberry.com, golfthornberry.com. They'll help you out with packages for golfing for any event you want to host, maybe just a cold one. Ah, I might get place. one of those. So, Freddie, 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 when you golf, you need a golf ball and tea. Yeah. Well, you know, is there food that goes along with that there idea? There is golf ball and tea. This is We're going to make some golf balls, and we're going to add a little tea into them, because I wanted to put tea inside the oh, golf balls. Oh, I like that. I left this in the package. This is Black Angus. And when you go to the Oneida Market, I'm going to say Oneida Market one more time, and I'm going to cut <laughs> this baby open. And I don't have to worry about no juices running out of there, because that is pure meat. And I don't mind talking as pure meat. I'm talking... Right out of the package. Right out of the package. Ready to that go. is that is pure meat. There's no juice. There's no leftovers. There's no fat hardly. I think the fat content's got to be really really low in that baby. I got the fat. 
That looks good, sir. I leveled nice the thing. table for you, Rod. <laughs> uh, so we got uh, we got about two pounds of meat in there um, okay. of the ground. It's actually Angus, black Angus. I'm going to add one egg, and I'm going to add some cracker crumbs that I crunched up. And we're going to do a very simplified meatball recipe, but we're calling them, of course, golf balls. Golf balls that go with our mulligan chili. I like it. That. I like it. Now, the, the, the unsung hero with Mad Dog and Merrill is our seasonal. It's yes, Grandma it is. Hazel's, Grandma Hazel, Grandma Hazel, Grandma uh, Hazel's. Know, I gotta admit, and I use that quite a bit. We never uh, talk about it that much. I just, I love it. It's an The all seasonal, purpose. I'm doing it just to give just a little sodium content inside of there, just to give a little sodium content. But here's what I want to try, is working with fresh teas, different types of teas, works well for rubs and for other marinates and, and right. drying. Yep. And it's good in your belly. So this is actually a wild Thai black tea. And we're gonna add a whole bunch a black tea. Could you wrap that back oh, that's up? That's right, you got her. So I'm just gonna simply mix it up. That's as simple as we're getting. Get that egg in there. I might have add one more egg, just so you know. So I'm gonna mix this all together with the black tea. And I asked the lady when I was buying it, I said, I ain't gonna kill nobody, am I? She goes, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, who is it? Fast Freddy? She goes, oh, pfft, who cares? Good to Freddy, he'll eat anything. <laughs> Again, another untried recipe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm really anxious to try this, I really well, am. Well, you know, the, the tea, that's why I wanted to keep yeah. it bland, because I really do, I really do want to, and now the beat balls, by the way, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna round those off. I'm gonna do a couple of them here, but during the break, I'm gonna cook those up. And not yet, not yet, but oh yeah. There you oh, go. Yeah, so so these, yeah. Are the, yeah, these are the little, those yeah. are the little golf balls right there. We got plenty of tea. Now we're gonna put those directly on <laughs> the grates of the grill. And literally, we're to put the hood down in five to eight to ten minutes. Those babies are done. Yeah, it won't take wow. long. It's pretty lean meat. Yeah, it's really very lean meat, meat and we're doing small little golf ball size. Well, so, adding to those meatballs, I'm going to do a sauce there, Freddie. Hey. Very simple, sweet and sour sauce. A little tang to it with a little sweetness. I'm going to be using some applesauce, some hickory barbecue sauce, a little white vinegar, and obviously some some uh, corn syrup. Very easy to do. I like using I use an applesauce a lot of times for a different a lot of different barbecues. Now that's from the cannery. Yes. Uh, that they have in Oneida. And don't forget a uh, uh, big apple fest. The big apple fest in September. Great time. Yeah. The farmers market at Water Tower Circle. The Water Tower Circle farmers oh, market I'll use the every other Thursday end. from noon until six, starting in June. It's a great time. Well, you're at that, aren't you? Little that's, that's a great sauce. time. The farmer's market is great. I love going to the farmer's market and sitting there and talking with all the great folks. You can get to go see Roger and you know, eat some of his Red's ribs. Oh, uh, it's good ribs. Yep. Good ribs, man. Yeah, it's not only food and stuff, but it's kind of a social thing, isn't it? It's a social it? thing, and you always get some good uh, uh, native eats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They also have white corn soup or they have, uh, like, fried bread. With our chili, by the way, our mulligan chili, I didn't want to make fried bread because I'm not very good at it, but that's the thing to serve. And I've, I've been to a couple socials with Oneida, and when there's a chili, a chili eating, a, a, like a fundraiser I went to a couple times, they always serve fried bread. So if you got a good fried bread recipe, go for it. I don't. Mine ain't fit for the dogs. This guy's steaming pretty good over here. Look yeah. at that. So what we're going to do is he's going to heat up. He's going to heat up that little sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to cook the meatballs. During the break, we're going to add the two together. And when we come back, we're going to do some nice little apple wedges with sage. Isn't that great? All right. Sounds yeah. Great. Yep. Take it away, Freddie. You got her. That's Freddie on the keyboards. Man, we're having a great time here today. Don't forget to go to golfthornberry.com to learn more about this wonderful 27-hole golf course. Great place. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill, nothing better than a pile of wings and Mad Dog and Merrill's grilling sauces. You got that right, Mad Dog. I'm ready to dig into these babies. <laughs> Number one, thick and rich. I'm going for the spicy. And it's the smokehouse for me, yeah. Oh, this time I'm going for the spicy. Oh man, I got the hickory. <laughs> uh... Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. I'm Ray Lampy, Dr. Barbecue, and I'm here to tell you about the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. The versatility of the Big Green Egg is unmatched. It delivers big results as a grill, a smoker, and even an outdoor oven. Grill burgers, kebabs, steaks at 800 degrees, slow smoke a perfect slab of ribs, and even bake a crispy pizza. When the doctor cooks, I demand the best, and that's why I cook on the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. To locate a dealer, just go to BigGreenEgg.com.
Inflammation and muscle pain can prevent us from activities such as walking, golfing, exercising, and more. Rapid Performance Products provides all natural relief utilizing the super fruit, tart cherries. Rapid Red contains natural antioxidants that help combat the inflammation and pain of our muscles associated with activity. To help the aging maintain their muscle mass, try our Rapid Whey with 12 grams of whey protein isolate. Keep fit and stay active with Rapid Performance Products. Lashbro Aerial Images, a division of Lashbro Visual Communications, is a premier drone imaging company. Stunning high definition video, compelling high resolution photography. Lashbro Aerial Images is remote pilot certified and fully insured. Images for advertising, broadcast, print, online, mapping, real estate, and more. Take your vision to the next level with Lashbro Aerial Images. Ladies and gentlemen, grillers of all ages, be sure to watch Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're always grilling the most unusual food. And I might add, the most tastiest looking food. Watch Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Lots of fun and great food. And me, Fast Freddy, on the keyboards. That's pretty good. One, one, one. Hey, yeah. welcome back to Mad Dog and Marrow's Midwest Girl. We're having a great time here. What a great day to go golfing. Oh, man. I love golfing. I really do. I love to go golfing. It's relaxing to me. You got to make it a relaxing sport. You come. To, you have to come to Thornberry Creek at Oneida and do some great golfing. Open to the public. I'll tell you that. Open to specials <laughs> before 9 o'clock in the morning, guys. Yep. Oh, really? Yep, but open all day long. It's Boy. better if you don't bend the club so after each. <laughs> oh, I get so mad sometimes in my younger days. Oh. So in honor of that Big Apple Fest and the Apple Orchards, by the, by the way, the the week after Labor Day, that Tuesday, you can start picking your own apples at the apple orchards in Oneida. We took some apple wedges, and I just simply cut them all up, took out the little pits, and then we, I glistened them with a little bit of lemon juice. Inside yep. my little baggie here is a whole bunch of sugar with just some dried sage. Okay. And just the tint of sage in there. And all we're simply doing is sugaring those apple wedges up. We're putting them directly on our green egg. Now we have the, the Mini Max here with the tripod. <laughs> and we're gonna show those eggs on there. They're just cooking. All you want, simply wanna do is warm them through. A lot of times I've overcooked them. It's not quite as good. So yeah. just to crisp them up, just to get that sugar melting away like they are, and that little specks of sage just have to be just delicious in there. We're gonna find out. So get yourself a green egg, that. get yourself a green egg and find out how to do that. You ready to do the unveiling, gentlemen? I'm ready for the unveiling, I man. Bet. I'm now hungry. Let me get your meatballs over there. All right, all right, all right. These look good. gosh darn good, and they're hot. Oh, man. But don't oh, yes, smell good. Uh, yes, you uh, stir those for the camera with this while I, uh, oh, my, my, while my, I get my, the, uh, my, the pot my. of chili off. This yeah, is maybe, Mulligan Freddy. chili. Oh. Let me turn the burners off. When you're done with the yeah, burners, the turn the burners off. Good. Yeah. When you're I done like with it. the burners, turn the burners off. Now, hopefully you got to see the whole segments here and saw how we did this wonderful chili. Chili is delicious to do, and it's good to do as a family little get-together. I could eat chili seven days a week. I, I could, too. I love everybody's <laughs> chili. I really do. I'm a big so this chili is a, this is a white corn bison chili. We went to 501 Packerland Avenue. We went to the great little market. You can go to exploreoneida.com, exploreoneida.com. You can learn about the golf courses. You can learn about the tours. You can learn about the veterans wall. You can learn about the farmer's market of the, and the, also the Oneida market on Packerland Avenue. There's a lot of great things that happen here. A great community. Looks Oneida good, Nations. sir. You're the meatballs. Look at the old meatballs. I think you did a good job on that. Oh, they it really did. So good. We got this. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Man, they're there you hot. go. They're hot. <laughs> mm. Mm. We're going to be right back to wrap this baby up. Those are delicious. Mm. Well, then, all right, I'm going to try one too then. Well, they are. And you can taste the tea in there. Your sauce is the dive bar. Oh, 
Hocus Pocus Grillorama. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you grilling magic. Grilling magic, a perfect blend of garlic and pepper and other magical ingredients. I'm Grandma Hazel. Try my secret family spice blend, passed down from generations. Steaks, fish, burgers, chicken pork, all things grilled. Grandma Hazel never rubbed you wrong. <laughs> the best in the Midwest, Grilling Magic, Grandma Hazel, and our own seasonal. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. As a mother, I choose healthy snacks for my children. What they eat now can have a lasting effect on their overall health. Cherry Delight Dry Cherries provide a healthy snack and taste delicious. Unlike sugary treats, these tasty fruit snacks are all natural and provide essential nutrients and vitamins important in growing bodies. From chocolate covered Cherry Delights to tart cherry juice, these snacks are full of nutrition. Order Cherry Delight online. Gift boxes are also available. Go to countryovens.com. Ah, yes, Merck's cheese spread on a cracker with a fat piece of salami is my favorite. Marrow, marrow, marrow for the appetizers. I mean, I'm talking wings, nachos, poppers, and potato skins. Yeah, Mad Dog, what about melted Merck's on all your veggies? And Merck's will dress up your burgers and all your cuts of meat, Marrow. Looks doggone good to me. Yeah. You realize Merck's is made from real Wisconsin cheese. Oh, and age nine months for maximum flavor. Merck's, go online for recipes and store locators. Now, Merrill, you sink this putt, you win the tournament, and the coveted cooler of ice-cold sundrop soda. Towel. Sundrop. Pull the pin. Locally bottled, crisp, old-fashioned flavor, sundrop. Make your summer fantasy come true. What's your summer sundrop fantasy? Are you tired of the same old thing? Moo. Taste the wild side with exotic edibles from All Things Jerky. Check out our large selection of exotic jerky and frozen meats. Gator, kangaroo, boar, bison, elk, and more. Try before you buy with our bulk beef jerky. We carry hot sauces and supplies to make your own jerky and sausage. The perfect gift for every occasion is our mug of meat and gift boxes. Visit our stores in Eagle River, Manaqua, and Appleton, and shop online at allthingsjerky.com. More than just jerky, All Things Jerky. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Going. We had a great time here at Thornberry Creek. Don't forget to go golfing and go golfing often. Hit them often and hit them, hit them straight and hit them often. Boy, I'll tell you what. We're absolutely Mad Dog and Merrill. Everything is just absolutely excellent. Yeah, we got really the nice good. little chilies over here, the mulligan stews we're cooking away. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Mm. We'll see you next time, folks. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lash Pro Visual Communications.